Hi guys, I finally have like 90% of my voice back, so I'm happy to be doing these normal voiceovers again, but I am so excited to be sharing this vlog with you all today because finally you are going to be able to see what's going to be in this launch this week, and yes, I said this week. Right now you're watching my brother and I get all of these boxes in, and this is only half of the order that I placed. The entire FedEx truck was filled with only boxes for my business, and I just thought that that was the like craziest thing ever. Like this entire truck was driving around with See the Way I See stuff and that's just I don't know a weird but very cool feeling so obviously we got right to work and instead of taking masking tape and labeling the shelves by hand which took me a really long time for the last launch I had some extra thermal labels sitting around and thought that they would be perfect for labeling the shelves and this label printer is actually a thermal printer which means it doesn't use ink and it's one of the best things that I ever bought for my business and I'm gonna leave a link to mine down in the description if you want to get the same one but as you saw I went onto my iPad and designed the stickers with the font that I wanted so it would all look super uniform and this was honestly a really satisfying satisfying process and you can use this hack for all different things, not just for labeling shelves for your inventory. You could use it for labeling spices or baking ingredients like you see those people do on TikTok where they put them all in like separate jars, but I don't know if you're on the same for you page as me. Anyway, regardless. I printed out stickers for each size and if you're new to my business, I do carry sizes small through 5XL and I'm already in the process of extending those sizes even further. It's really important to me to be extremely size inclusive and honestly, by being a small business who is size inclusive, it's made me realize how easy it is to communicate with your manufacturer what sizes you want and how big companies act as if it would be a hassle to have extended sizing. When in reality, they would rather order more of the popular sizes than to include everyone in their range. But anyway, that's my little rant. It gets me so annoyed every time. And you want to know what's also really annoying? Big influencers stealing from small businesses. And if you want to hear more about that, make sure you go to my TikTok addressing the whole situation. But listen, this is a happy vlog. No negative energy here. Let's get back into this launch that is happening this week. You can already start to see some of the colors that are dropping. And I promise you guys a more neutral drop this time around. And as you can see so far, I followed through. You guys know my brand and the colors that I like and go along with it. And those will be coming back too. But for now, we're going for that neutral palette since it's more of a winter vibe anyway. But while we're on the topic of colors, let me know down in the comments what you want to see as a staple color in my shop. I really loved that sage light bluish color and so many of you did too and I know that I have to bring that back for one of the designs in the next next launch also if you see someone else comment a color that you would like to see make sure you like it or leave a thumbs up comment underneath it so I can see what the majority would like to see too but hold on let's take a quick moment to appreciate the satisfying clip Also, thank you for still listening if you haven't skipped ahead so far to see what will be in the launch. And as an extra way to say thank you, I'm gonna be filling you in on a little surprise that I've been working on. And I'm surprising myself by even talking about this because I wanted to do a whole reveal over on all of my social media platforms, but I guess a few of you here on YouTube will be able to know before everyone else. Okay, so I may or may not be working on a kid's line and I've been working on it since probably, actually I've started designing them back at the end of last year. And if you used to join my TikTok lives, then this isn't a surprise because my mom and I would talk about it all the time with you guys and you guys would go feral in the chat and all of you were giving me feedback on what designs of mine to use and what colors would be great to start out with. And we're actually finally getting so close to launching it. But I'm telling you guys this because I wanted some more live feedback before I finalize the second part of the order. And if you guys have kids yourselves or nieces or nephews or family friends with kids, please ask their parents and let me know, would you rather have a hoodie for them or a crew neck? I just get worried that the hoodie might be like too constricting for the little guys. And I don't know, I'm not a mom and I'm probably overthinking this, but I wanted to get your guys' opinions first. And also let me know how old the kiddos are that you would be purchasing for so I can get an idea of how many to order of each size. But okay, that's our secret together, you and I, in our little YouTube community, and I just can't wait to finally share what they look like. Okay, so I've talked your guys' this year off long enough. Here is the before of the warehouse before everything went up on the shelves, and here is the after. Guys, I am so excited to deep dive into all these colors, styles, the new hoodie that's dropping. So future Soph, take it away. Okay, so my family and I just got done taking pictures in the park for the new launch, but I wanted to come back and show you guys what's gonna be exactly in this launch. And yes, I'm in sweats, but this is the reality of the situation. So let's get to showing you. 
Starting off first, we've got the I'm Pretty Cool But I Cry A Lot in black with white tears here written on the inner sleeve. And with this color, I decided to go with more of a wash black. It's more of like a charcoal than it is a pitch black, which I'm much more obsessed with than I was with the last version of this hoodie. So I hope you guys like this just as much as I do. I've been living in this and I'm so obsessed with this more of a washed muted black color. Then going down to the Anxious in gray, I kept a very neutral color palette as you guys could see so far with all of these crew necks and hoodies, but I wanted to bring this back in gray and the sleeve also says this too shall Pass. Also, if you take a closer look at the letters, you will see that they're actually stitched on. This is like an applique design, and I went with a lighter gray heathered look for these. I just love how it turned out. Then let's go up over here. We've got the emotional and this brand new mocha color. When I tell you, I've never loved a color as much as I love this one when I first saw it come in the mail. I finally went with a darker color for the emotional. I've only ever dropped it in a cream color, and so many of you requested me having it in a darker color, and for this winter drop, I thought it couldn't be more fitting, and of course, on the sleeve, it says, and that's okay. Then we're gonna go down to the over thinker in navy and of course the sleeves say breathe in and breathe out and this is just the usual puff ink but this is more of a bright white rather than the cream lettering you see on the emotional so just keep that in mind but i love this against the navy it's a great contrast and then we're going to go over here to the migraine brain i wanted some color within this drop and i still wanted to keep it semi-muted but i thought this green would be a perfect addition especially with the off-white stitching and i just think it looks so good and it's still somehow a neutral in my mind you get what i mean but of course it also says listen to your body and rest on the sleeve and I just think that that's just an amazing reminder to have and even though I don't listen to that advice myself sometimes I still think it's something good to have on your inner wrist and then we're gonna go down to the I think I think too much last launch I only had this in a t-shirt and so many of you guys asked if I could bring it in a crew neck so I thought that this stone color would be perfect and it says your thoughts are not facts on the inner sleeve I have been living in this in brown leggings and jeans and sweatpants this color goes with so much and I definitely want to bring this color in with other designs so let me know if you guys want to see more of it and with that being said, you're probably thinking that this is the entire lineup and you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> I told you guys I love this color and I wanted to bring it in for a new design and this is the new Practice Empathy hoodie. Now let me explain all of the pieces of it. Okay, so let's talk about the meaning behind this hoodie and what I want it to represent when you guys see it, wear it, all of that. So with it saying practice empathy on the front, I really want that to resonate with you, but also the people who you're with and who you're around and whoever reads it when you're checking out at Target, if the cashier is looking at it, it's just a reminder to practice empathy and to just put yourself in someone else's shoes and see the way that they see. And then most importantly, the sleeve reminder that's more personal to you, which reads always be kinder than you feel. And in the most Gen Z way possible, that basically means don't be a Karen. <laughs> we all are going to have our moments of when we're going through a fit or having a moody day or something along those lines, I've had them. I've had them for the past week. I'll get into that later. But I just wanted to have this message for us to always be kinder than you feel because what better hoodie to put that on than an empathy hoodie. And then the other blurb on the hoodie, in a world full of people who couldn't care less, be someone who couldn't care more. And in 2022, that could not be more accurate. So many things are going on in this world and I feel like so many people are caring less and less about it. We are becoming numb to it and I am afraid that that's just gonna continue being the trend. We all just need that reminder to care more, whether it's within your small knit group or if it's in a larger scenario, just look at the big picture of it all and just remember to care. It is cool to care in 2022 and all the years going forward, I promise. But with that being said, that is the new Practice Empathy hoodie. Let me know down in the comments what it represents to you and if you like it if you love it and also let me know if you plan on getting it on the next drop which i'm going to put the date on the screen now so yeah that is everything i hope you guys are as excited as i am so let me know which color is your favorite my personal favorite is the mocha and again comment down below i love reading them at night and just sifting through them all and seeing what your guys's opinions are so that's going to be it for this vlog i hope to see you guys all on see the way I see .com on the date that i'm putting on the screen now i can't lie though this is the most stressful drop i'm ever going to have for my business and of course i'm going to be vlogging it so make sure subscribe make sure you're following me over on instagram because i keep you guys all updated over on my stories and you guys get to see all of the behind the scenes that i don't post here on youtube fingers crossed it all goes well i really hope it does i just hope you guys resonate with all of these messages that i'm putting out there in the world as much as i do so remember in a world full of people who couldn't care less be someone who couldn't care more see you guys on launch day